change, we're going to use the following items. Angle grinder, fitted with appropriate cutting disc, needle nose pliers, some form of penetrating oil, and appropriate safety precautions. This chain is the drive chain from the engine. We're going to remove it by undoing the split link here. First of all, we're going to spray it with some releasing fluid. Then we're going to go and have a cup of coffee and wait for it to do its magic. Right, two things to note when uh, working with split links. Sometimes it's easier to undo them when the chain is still in the tension because it doesn't pop about so much. And most importantly, when you put it back on again, it should always face the direction of travel. So the open end part should be away from the direction of travel if the link is in the top end of the chain. If it's in the bottom end of the chain, the open end should be facing that way because the chain goes in this direction. All right. Put your nose pliers. There you go. Right, now that I've removed the outer link, that part there, I can move the rest of it. Um, as this bike has got no rear suspension, the chain is quite tight, so I've had to undo the adjusters slightly, put a bit of slack in the chain. On a bike with rear shocks, there's usually enough sort of play in the chain to allow for the movement of the swing arm, not to need to do that. So, there you go. Push out from the other side. the other side of that and then the chain can come off this is the chain on the right of the bike it's the one that transmits the power to the rear wheel from the pedals it also has a split link in it um, but this chain is not in a good way so we're going to be removing it the easy way. Something worth pointing out here is, see this mark here? This is where the chain has been uh, too slack. And it's been rubbing across the frame. Taking the paint off. If you notice that on your bike, you need to adjust the chain. Because if it's too slack, you can bind up the rear sprocket and lock the rear wheel. Right, I think that's it for today. Um, I think next time we'll take a look at the carburetor and fitting the new drive chains. Um, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you all again soon.